Yeah, but petrol! Environment, hello! If you want a sexy electric bike, check this little honey out. This is the Optibike, and it's the best electric bike I've ever seen. It only costs about 7p to fully charge and can go about 50 miles on that. Apart from anything else, it's great fun. And it can hit speeds of over 30 miles an hour. to a brand spanking new oh. series of The Gadget Show. And it's going to be the best of The Gadget Show. Can I move on? You can. OK. We're going to start, then, with the first part of this week's challenge, a gadget challenge based on the idea of transport. Yeah, and what better way to start it than with a race? But not just any kind of race. Oh, no. This was going to be the maddest, baddest transport race you could possibly imagine ever in the history of Mad Bad Gadget races. The aim? To find out exactly what is the fastest personal transport gadget you can buy. The method? Ambitious, to say the least. We had assembled not only the very cream of gadget vehicles from right around the world, but also the very cream of British racing talent to ride them all. Yay! From fifth gear presenters to world rally champions, pro skaters and us three. Uh. Of course, this was going to be big, really big. Heading the pack was me on the Easy Glider, my favourite personal transport vehicle ever. And me in my very own Sinclair C5. Dallas and Tom Ford started in third and fourth on the awesome electric Opti bike and Mini Hummer golf cart, respectively. If you look at all these other people, they are relatively unprotected. I'm going to use this to my advantage by squashing them, running them over and knocking them off. In fifth and sixth were two pro skaters on electric skateboards, and in seventh was British rally champ Guy Wilkes in an off-road buggy, and in eighth was pro driver Guy Harrington on a petrol-powered scooter. Then it was two Segway-type vehicles, one ridden by a former Speedway champion. Eleventh and twelfth were a GT champion on the electric Urban Mover mountain bike, and the bike-like Body Buddy ridden by a pro skater. Me, my Body Buddy, we're going to take this. Then the golf carts, driven by GT champion James and GT driver Jeremy. It was an all-electric in fifteenth and sixteenth, with touring car champion Darren on the go-ped electric scooter and pro skater Josh on the twenty-mile-an-hour eight ball. Bringing up the rear was the electric Razor scooter and pro mountain boarder Dave on the motorised X. Side bike. As we lined up on the grid, it was obvious this was going to be mayhem. And when you've got a race like that, there's only one person that could possibly commentate on it. Ladies and gentlemen, let me hand you over to the legend that is Murray Walker. And it's go, go, go. Everyone's off the line safely, and that's amazing. Let's hope it stays that way for all ten laps of this tricky course. GT driver Guy Harrington's taken an early lead on his petrol-powered go-pet scooter. With a top speed of 30 miles an hour, he must be a contender. But there's a long way to go yet. The pack's beginning to space out as the most powerful vehicles fight their way to the front. If I was out there, I wouldn't want to get too close to that Mini Hummer, especially as it's being driven by fifth gear's resident Wookiee, Tom Ford. Believe it or not, that eight grand Hummer is actually a golf cart with a top speed of 20 miles an hour. Hiya, Sue. There's some cheating going on here. They're all cheating. There's Jason going old school in his Sinclair C5, and he's looking good. The C5 can do 15 miles an hour, but Jason's already been overtaken by pretty much everyone. Look at him mocking me. This vehicle's older than he is. And look, look at that. Dallas and Jason nearly came together there, but Jason's done the gentlemanly thing and let him through. On his battery-powered Optibike that can reach speeds of 20 miles an hour without even pedalling, Dallas is certainly in with a shout of victory. It's really, really effortless. And you just fly along on this. It's just fantastic. I want one of these. British rally champion Guy Wilkes is flying, too, on the superb little petrol-driven 30-mile-an-hour go-pet trail ripper. He may look like something out of Mario Kart, but he's seriously motoring. Well, the golf carts are well out of it now, and they've started showboating. Eight and ten miles an hour top speed's fine for the fairway, but they don't stand a chance in this race. And look, I don't believe it! 
Now they've stopped for a quick nine holes. Back on the track, Susie's in a stately tenth position on her electric-powered Easy Glider. But at a maximum speed of 12 miles an hour, she'll be lucky to make the podium this time. Believe it or not, I've got the throttle pinned wide open. <laughs> this is as fast as I can go. And now we're into the last few laps, and it's a three-way fight between the Goped Scooter in first, the Goped Trail Ripper in second, and Dallas Campbell on the Optibike in third. But look! De debris on the track, debris on the track, that's dangerous. It's been left by those showboating golf carts and gallant Guy Wilkes has stopped to move it. And now he's lost his second place to Dallas on the Optibike. Incredible! There are little battles going on all over the course. Nobody's giving up. Guy Wilkes is up and running again. And look at this, on the last lap, he's fought his way back to take the lead in his trail ripper. But the go-ped scooter is right behind him. And yes, yes, the scooter's taken it right on the line and the trail ripper ends in second with the gadget shows Dallas Campbell on his Optibike in third. What an incredible race! Woohoo! Our last! Fantastic. That's good fun. A track it? full of, you know, thoroughbred racing champions. I know, all those champions and us. Yes, <laughs> you and I. Well, we weren't victorious, were we? But Dallas did well, got on the podium, flying the flag for the gadget show. He did, and that Optibike he was riding, you know, again, proven to be a fantastic piece of technology. Yeah.